Hello there, this video will cover how to set the resolution for Linux on Android. If you are interested in Linux on an Android, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on an Android without running. The complete instructions and the scripts used in this video will be in the pinned comment for copying and pasting. Keep in mind that these scripts should be used with care because, for example, if we set the screen resolution with a zero value, then Linux will require a recovery procedure. The recovery procedure will also be in the pinned comment. While this procedure is overall useful for setting the resolution for the desktop, it can also help with running programs that have resolution issues. For example, if I start up the game Abe's Amazing Adventure, my screen resolution is too big, so the game runs in a really small screen, which makes it harder to play and overall enjoy. So what we can do is open up a terminal and set the resolution by doing GoH500. This uses the GoH script, which sets the resolution based on a given height, which for this example is 500. Note that the GoW script works the same way, except it sets the screen resolution based on a given width. After that, we can close out of the terminal and then restart Linux like normal by disconnecting, stopping the session, and then starting the session where we should start to notice that everything is bigger, and then we can start up the desktop. After the desktop starts up, we can then run the Abe's Amazing Adventure game again, where it should now take up the height of the screen, making it a lot easier to play and a lot more fun. Another example of a program that has resolution issues is Xshogi, where we can see that the symbols in the game are unreadable because the screen resolution is now too small. To fix this, we'll open up a terminal again and set the resolution by doing Go H840 to make the screen resolution bigger. Note that the resolution can be larger than the actual screen resolution of your device. Now we can close out of the terminal, stop and start the session, and this time, instead of starting up the desktop, I'm going to use the Xterm terminal, and then I'm going to use D menu to launch Xshogi, and now the symbols are readable so we can tell what's what and play the game normally. For funsies, you can customize the colors in Xshogi by modifying the command like I did here. Finally, we can execute the go end script to reset the resolution. After restarting Linux, we can see that the resolution has been restored to its default. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, Linux on Android phones and tablets. And other than that, see you soon!